one over 72. Amy Olson. Amy, talk us through what you're feeling right now. Yeah, obviously very um, super mixed emotions. Um, you know, it was a it was a long day yesterday, and um, you know, not being able to play, but I did get some good rest. And coming out this morning, I had no idea what to expect. Um, you know, it was just one of those things. I felt very weak and helpless the last couple of days, um, and probably same same went today on the golf course. I I really believe the Lord, Lord just carried me through. Um, you know, just so many just makes you realize how much bigger life is than golf. Um, but pleased with my finish overall and my performance. Yeah, some absolutely great golf this week. A lot for you to take out of this from a confidence level, I would imagine. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I struck the ball really well all week, and I putted great all week. Um, yeah, it was it was really fun to play well, to put four good rounds together. Um, and, you know, just a lot of confidence going into, you know, the next event. Richard. First of all, congratulations on a great tournament. Was there a target score that you were looking at that you thought you might have to shoot today? And also, are you surprised that somebody put together a four under round today? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely out there. There were, you had to, again, like every week you had to, or every day you had to pick which pins you were going to go at and which ones you weren't. But there were birdies out there. Still a great round, obviously. Um, you know, I kind of assumed it was going to be between me and, and Hinoko, you know. I just thought that it was going to be um, potentially between us and definitely surprised to see someone come kind of from behind and put that good of a round together. Brian. Amy, the um, shot on 16, can you walk us through that, what club it was and what went through your head as it's in the air? Yeah, um, I had 180 to the pin, and... I needed to carry it about 170 based on my math, um, you know, to carry that bunker. Um, my five iron, I had a cut five iron on the previous hole and it had flown 152. So the, I'm like, I'm sitting there, there's no way I can pull that club. And I tried to hit a, a high cut hybrid, which I pulled off beautifully. Um, but it just, I don't know if it caught a little you know, downwind gust or anything, but obviously it didn't hold the green and got kind of a tough lie behind the green um, and didn't make it up and down. Beth Ann. Amy, how hard was it to focus out there at times? Did you allow your, your mind to wander? Um, you know, honestly, I didn't a lot. I, I, um, I knew I had to stay very mentally disciplined just to get through the day. Um, I, I allowed myself to think about what I'm grateful for. Mm. <laughs> and I've got a long list. <laughs> Karen. Was it a blessing that you didn't have to play yesterday, that you could just sort of talk to Grant and be there for him before he got back on the plane? And what would that, yeah. can you imagine even doing what you did today, yesterday? Yeah, I mean, it's so hard to say that. I, um, it definitely gave me a chance to get some more rest. Um, but at the time, you know, it also didn't allow Grant to be here um, until the finish, and we had to make some more decisions. But, um, you know, I definitely did get a lot more rest last night than I did the night before. Were you singing on the 13th fairway as you Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything in particular? <laughs> I had Josh Groban's song, You Raise Me Up, um, in, in my head, and particularly the part where it says, um, you know, I, you raise me up and um, to walk on stormy waters. So that was that was kind of what was going through my head today. Hey, can I ask one? Yeah, more? go ahead. Last question. Amy, can you um, can you just tell us just a little bit about your father-in-law? Yeah, um, you know we had a really um, special relationship. He's a his big tough military mm -hmm. West Point guy. Um, loved the army, um, but had a particular soft spot for the women in his, in his life, particularly his wife and daughter-in-law. Um, and just incredibly generous, love to hunt and fish, um, and will have a lot of great memories to take from us with those activities, doing those with him. Thank Thanks, Amy. Yeah. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.